The Coyote Point Classic is turning into one of the best disc golf events in all of Western California. Once a year in the heart of the beautiful California Indian Summer, the Ventura Disc Golf Club hosts a special kind of tournament. The kind of tournament that you look forward to all year long, and once you attend, you'll clear your calendar every year to make sure you're able to attend. Well, late October usually means cold weather and muddy fairways for most parts of the country, here in Southern California, the weather is almost perfect this time of year. Almost all of the competitors in the tournament also camp out on the beautiful lakeside campground of the Lake Casitas Recreational Area and are treated to some world-class disc golf and a fun, relaxed camping experience. The tournament is an adventure and the competition is intense. Since almost everyone playing in the tournament is staying at the campground, the mood stays pretty relaxed as everyone is so excited to be able to play at such a beautiful venue. But when the horn sounds and the rounds begin, these players get their game face on and try to conquer one of the most challenging courses on the West Coast. This is an extremely well-run event as the Ventura Disc Golf Club and the hard work of Tom LaTorre, Mike Yulowski, Mel Mills, and tournament director Jesse Chambliss go a long way in providing an unforgettable disc golf experience. What do you like about Coyote Point Classic? The amenities, the campground's awesome, the course is tough and but fun. Um, and then camping here with, with everybody, it turns into a kind of a big party. It's just it's a great time. It's almost like a vacation as well as a tournament. So. Uh, the courses. Uh, the atmosphere, the scenery, the people, everything. It's an awesome place to come. A lot of people come here. I bet about uh, 50 people didn't even get in. And while some players didn't get in, for those 146 competitors that did get to experience this event, everybody went home happy as this tournament featured tons of extra prizes and side events. This tournament is part of the Steady Ed Tournament Series sponsored by DGA, and players were treated to a CTP contest, a long drive competition, and the very popular Ring of Fire. If you have never experienced a Ring of Fire, encourage the TV of your next local event to have one. Players gather in a circle around the basket and all putt at the same time. If you make your putt, you back up 10 feet and putt again until there's only one player left and that player walks home with a brand new Mach Light portable basket. This tournament provides unmatched scenery and great course layouts. The Safari Final Nine would showcase some of California's best disc golf talent, including the two-time defending Coyote Point Classic champion Lane Mason, who made the long trip down from Springfield, Oregon. Lane can toss a hammer or a thumber shot as far as any professional on the national tour, and he used it to scrape out a fourth place finish in this year's event. Robert McEntee is a traveled veteran whose consistent play will put him in contention at any California event. Young Paul Macbeth out of Huntington Beach, California has taken lessons from players like McEntee and now finds himself on top of open leaderboards at age 17. This kid has a cannon of an arm that would make any player jealous. He's a quick learner and if he pushes himself, it would not be out of the question for him to win a big national event in the next couple of years. His distance is impressive, and if he can progress in his short game, watch out, touring players. This kid will be taking your money shortly. Robert Burt McEntee is a well-liked player whose consistent drives and smooth demeanor helped him play excellent golf throughout the weekend and finish runner-up at this year's event. Burt's level head and solid short game helped him to finish only six strokes back from the eventual winner. And while there was a lot of great golf played, no one came close to big arm Kyle Crabtree, who dominated every round. Kyle's experience on the national tour would be very valuable, as he came close to winning the event the past two years, but was able to break through and showcase his unbelievable talents, running away with the tournament and never looking back. He walked away with an amazing one-of-a-kind trophy by Halili Designs and a first-place check for $700. All right, first of all, um, I got to thank uh, my locals, Halili, Bruner, Coda, Lieberman, Manny, always in my corner. I uh, probably wouldn't have had a place to stay without them, so thank them.
definitely be back next year. I've got to thank uh, Innova for sure. LSDS from Kansas, LSDS.net. Check them out. And uh, white shoes. White. Great shoes. So, um, see you next year. Bye. Bye. Congratulations, Kyle, on being this year's 2007 Coyote Point Classic Open Champ. This tournament is a true disc golf experience, and whether it's the great golf, the one-of-a-kind trophies, or the enormous payout that brings you back, you'll be glad you came, and you'll no doubt have some great stories to tell all your friends back home about. At this tournament, everyone goes home a winner, and for those that do cash, the payouts are very impressive. If you finish at the top of any of the amateur divisions, you're sure to walk home with a heaping bag of the hottest new disc golf merchandise on the market. This year's big winners included Women's Open Champion Katherine Downey, Masters Open Champion Steve Weiskamp, Men's Intermediate Champion Jeff Donaldson, Women's Masters Champion Suzette Simmons, Advanced Masters Champion Dr. Mark Hauser, Men's Advanced Champion Kyle Ekman, and Women's Advanced Champion Brittany Breed. Well, that's all for this year. We hope you can join us next year in beautiful Southern California for the 2008 Coyote Point Classic. Until then, this has been another Club 81 production. Thanks for watching.